Good morning, everyone. It's good to see some friendly faces. Good morning, Don. Glad to see you here. Um, my name is Tim Reeser, uh, today representing Hydraulic Hybrid Systems. I say today because some of you also know me for my commercialization role at Colorado State University in clean energy. And uh, thank you, Dan, for the pitch this morning on uh, leveraging the universities. I also agree there's a huge opportunity there. So without further ado, uh, Hydraulic Hybrid Systems is a Loveland-based, uh, Loveland, Colorado-based uh, company, started a little over a year ago. Uh, first vehicle prototype unveiled at the Denver Auto Show in April 1st, 2009 and uh, first hydraulic hybrid system completed in June of 2009. Uh, today the company's on its uh, third iteration. The company's mission and original uh, look at the market was to uh, fill a, a need or, or an opportunity we saw in the fleet vehicle market. Uh, the fleet vehicle market includes, you know, kind of from the pictures, everything from the top level of trash trucks all the way down to pickup trucks that you see, or what we'll call work trucks. Many of you may even drive an F-250, F-350, F, uh, and the, the full ton and on up. So it, it really runs the gamut. Um, there's over six million of the work trucks just in the F-250, F-350 market, so the three-quarter ton to full ton. So it's a large market of what exists as well as what's being created new every year. The crux of it is uh, to increase fuel mileage by, by over 40% for stop and, grow, stop and go driving applications, primarily through regenerative braking. So we take the energy when you brake um, and uh, capture that energy in the form of storing it in a hydraulic tank. Uh, how many of you uh, drive or have driven a Prius or a Camry or a, or a Honda? So there's some of you have some experience with electric uh, hybrids. The idea is similar. You're using a motor, or in this case, a pump, to, to store that braking energy. Then on acceleration, you use that motor and pump to use that energy on your startup and reduce the amount of uh, petroleum you use going forward. Uh, a quick picture, and this, is, uh, this is, is an animation, but this truck is actually at the uh, um, state of Colorado today. There's a, a large environment and transportation show at the uh, State History Museum across from the Capitol. Um, the truck will be down there this afternoon. Unfortunately, it corresponds with today, so some of us had to make the choice of, of being one place or the other. But just real quick, essentially you have a, uh, a transmission uh, cover, a hydraulic pump and motor, and a uh, patented uh, transfer module that transfers the energy from the pump and motor directly to the transmission, and a patented tank system that uh, is unique to us in the system. One other key point, we're replacing the torque converter in the vehicle, which means uh, we aren't, because we're using the space the torque converter was in, we're not having to significantly uh, change the drive system of the vehicle. The drive shaft remains the same, the transmission remains the same, we're post that. Um, the second big thing is the torque converter in stop and go driving represents about a 30% efficiency drop. We're the only people in the industry to replace that with our own clutch system, uh, significantly gaining additional efficiency that other people aren't seeing. Another one you see, and it may be a little harder to see up on the picture, it's a two-in-one tank uh, or accumulator is what the industry calls it. There's a carbon fiber accumulator. You see the round tank inside the square tank. Um, that holds up to 5,000 pounds per square inch. That's equivalent to the battery, so that's our energy storage system. We're storing energy in that tank. And uh, then the, the fluid exhaust back to the, the metal tank. Again, the only folks in the business and a patent around both the, the carbon fiber tank and the, the two-in-one tank application. A little bit on uh, the control system. One of the, the third patent is around the control system and the way we blend in with your current onboard diagnostic center of the truck. We're also capable of, like a Prius or like a Camry, of having that truck shut off and restart. Um, it's somewhat limited today. As you know, any of you have driven a Prius, in order for them to shut the engine off, they have to have electric power steering and electric brakes. Uh, some vehicles today in the truck business have that, so we can do that in the retrofit. Some of them don't, in which case, obviously, we don't shut off your engine, otherwise you won't be braking. So with that, a uh, little bit of my contact system, and those of you who have my CSU contact as well, you're welcome to contact me at, at any of the above.